So this is a second installment of showing you how to do an iOS approach and landing. The only difference is that this time I will be using the autopilot to do the approach on the iOS. And the obvious difference is that the weather conditions now are abysmal, like you can't see anything at all because the visibility is 1.2 kilometers and it's totally fogged in. Well, the basics are the same. You still have your iOS frequency for the runway 109.3, runway heading of 159 and and uh, yeah, still using the same instruments and whatnot. Just that this time we will use the autopilot to do the localizer and flight slope. And because we're not gonna see much, and because it's gonna be autopilot anyway, I can speed up the simulation rate so I don't bore you to death. Let's take a time spot. So the same thing, once you see the localizer needles start moving, you can select the nav hole switch for the aircraft to start intercepting the, the localizer. And as the glide slope approaches the center, you can reduce your speed to drop one notch of flaps. And once the local the once the glide slope is on the center, you can hitch, you can hit approach hold, and the plane would start descending. Turn on the audio so that we can hear the markers telling us how close we are to the runway. I mean, it, it may be on autopilot, but to be honest, it's it's a little bit scary because you you can't see anything. Uh, you've just really got to trust your instruments. So let's hope that we all get on the ground safely. But from what the instruments are telling me, uh, we are on the runway center line and we are nicely on the glide path. About here I think we can reduce the simulation rate back to normal. You can begin to see the ground already and drop to flaps 20 and you can see the runway in the distance I've thrown in a slight crosswind component as well and once the runway is in sight we can take over the controls from the autopilot and do the landing ourselves. You can see the wind is starting to push us off already. The wonders of automation. Threshold, throttle off, and flare. Touchdown. And that's it. iOS approach and landing in abysmal weather conditions. 